Good morning and welcome to another coffee bean review for www.getbeaned.com. I'm the Mean Bean Machine and today we will be looking at Mousetail Coffee Stories uh, Mousetail Espresso Blend. Now I picked this up from Ideal Espresso in Greenwich, London. Um, they are a small stall at Greenwich markets, depending on what day, they will have uh, two stalls out. Um, but I picked this bag up uh, last Friday, um, so we're going to give it a go. Um, it's very good, it tells you kind of what's in it and when it's roasted on date. Now the flavour profile uh, kind of says it's a well balanced acidity chocolatey notes, orange. So the hint of orange is the mention of acidity there, which is interesting that you don't tend to get a mention of that, of chocolatey. So <clears throat> it might be a bit more acidic than your average kind of thing that says chocolatey or caramel. Uh, touch of nuttiness. There you go, there's the caramel, as I expected with anything that mentions chocolatey. So yes, I picked this up uh, for... Uh, about so i picked this up with a coffee for about 10.50 the coffee was probably about three quid so i mean not cheap this was bags about six seven quid um for and that's non ground um so not cheap but what i will tell you about ideal espresso is they do make great coffee in a kind of greenish market they got vegan options um really kind of friendly it's a really nice place, a uh, way to kind of pick up coffee. A lot of people kind of just go into coffee shops or in a chain now. And it's nice to kind of go to the market and pick up, you know, a bag of coffee and a coffee, you know, and a cup of coffee and have a chat with the bloke uh, serving it to you. Now, uh, the name Mouse Tail might put some people off. A lot of people, you know, feel you shouldn't associate food with rodents. Um, understandable, but mouse tailing is, for those not in the know, is uh, when you use the espresso machine. Uh, if the stream coming out here, coming out there, looks, should have the thickness and consistency of a mouse tail if ground properly. Yeah. So um, that's why it's called mouse tail. It's a, you know, allusion to quality. Um, I've tried mouse tail before a long, long time ago. First time I've tried it at home. Um, and I believe they have their own cafe in Deptford. Um, so if you're in the Greenwich, Deptford area, do check them out. Now we're going to give this a go today. So I'm expecting it to have a bit more of a kick than uh, a lot of the average kind of chocolatey stuff that says chocolatey. There you go. So mouse tailing, yeah should be like that or well, not dripping like that should be more like that right. anyway so we'll give this a go as an espresso and then we'll give it a go as a latte now this is a blend from brazil and peru um and it tells you kind of exactly uh, what it's done with there, pulped natural, bald bourbon washed. It's an interesting blend there. Um, so we'll give it a go. Here it is, is the espresso. Well, the crumb is slightly broken there because I've run that through twice because my machine's not in great shape. But it smells strong, actually. It smells very strong for what I expect from an espresso. Yeah, so kind of as expected, that hint of acidity is there, cuts across the top, and is a lot stronger than uh, some of the stuff we've tried recently, Union um, and and uh, uh, Montezuma. Uh, I got, it's the same principle of a kind of nice chocolatey undertones, but there's that kind of cut of acidity which you know claims to be the orange note um is there at the top so it's got a quite kind of middling body range it's quite nice and pleasant i'm going to try and add some oat milk for a kind of espresso blend so 
give it, I admit that's an awful pour. Oh God, that's awfully uh, foamed as well. I've left that too long, but yeah. So really nice as an espresso blend in the terms that it's mild. Uh, you don't get a lot, the acidity is completely cut away there. Um, in terms of uh, what you're looking at, I think you're probably paying a lot for the name of Mousetown and the fact that you pick it up on a market stall. Um, you know, they're not buying in kind of great bulk, so you are getting probably charged a bit more. However, definitely well worth picking up. But uh, that level of acidity cuts in a little bit more than a lot of the other things we've kind of had recently. And there's there's a there's a there's less of a of that kind of coating of the tongue that you'd get with things that say more chocolatey or caramelly. It's a lot more kind of on the tip of your tongue, a lot more of that spark to it. Um, so that's well worth a try. Um, again, bit on the pricey side, but definitely decent and would thoroughly recommend if you're in that area.